so first thing we want to do is to go to workspace and then add a part inside let's add a proximity prompt and inside let's add a script then in the starter GUI we will add a screen GUI and we'll add a frame text label text button with a local script in it in the server storage we will add a script and in replicated storage we'll add a remote event and that's all of it we will make a corresponding stand and this part right here is our proximity prompt and we'll go down here and set uh, object text so spawn car or car spawn GUI we'll go a keyboard equation uh, E max activation distance 15 will require the line of sight we'll uncheck that and now we'll go ahead and Added the GUI. Okay, so this is our GUI for the car spawn we'll just name it car underscore GUI and now we'll just take the frame and uncheck the visibility of it and now instead of making a car uh, because we do not have a long video for that Okay, now we will go to toolbox and search for a car and add this one. Make sure to test the car before you put it in the game. Okay, we have this car spawn GUI. We'll save that for later. And we'll put this here. Make sure to put the car where you want it to spawn. I'll make a small parking for him. Okay, like this. And put it in the air. Like five studs in the air. And now take the car and place it in the server storage. Like this. And now we'll go to this script in server storage. So game dot remote. Uh, let me zoom in. Okay, so you see it. So game dot replicated storage dot remote event connect. I mean on server event connect function player. We'll type player dot name two dots space has spawned vehicle and down here we'll go script dot local new car will be equal to script dot parent dot deep two dots clone and then new car we'll put him in the workspace so we'll change his parent so while he is in the server storage, he still exists, but when we put him in the workspace, we can actually see him. So it will work like that. Now we'll script this one. So script.parent.triggered. 
also that whenever the player activates this proximity prompt, I mean whenever the player clicks E, it will connect the function for the player and now player dot player dot player gy dot car gy dot frame visible is equal to true so we'll make this frame appear like that by changing the, his visibility property now what's left to do is to just trigger the event so we'll go script.parent dot activate it so whenever we click the button we connect to the function and then game dot replicated storage dot remote event then fire server and that's it I just test it but before that did we anchor it this okay now with it okay let's run the game so we're in we come here we click E we have the car spawn we click spawn and let's see what happened hello world let me just check the script oh this is the mistake we have to put this script in the server script service okay let's run it again so we interact we click spawn and let's see okay this is the error we'll just go ahead and type game dot server storage dot jeep and then clone the jeep okay so second test e click on spawn and we have our car but we want this to no longer be visible so we'll go to this local script and the button and we'll just make it disappear so script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot dot visible is equal to true two parents so this frame right here and now let's test it one more time and we can see that we can spawn our car but this didn't go invisible let me just check that oh this is the oh my god okay that's three okay quickly spawn and that's it and now that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe if this tutorial helped you and i'll see you in the next one